Moving to the next topic where we will be talking about the token authentication and how it is important for a HashiCorp vault management. As you can see onto the screen, on the right hand side we are having a vault and on the left hand side we are having a user. So a user cannot access the vault directly. A user has to provide some kind of a credential so that he can access the HashiCorp vault. And when we are talking about the credential, then we are not talking about the username and password. So we are talking about the root token. So here you can see over here, a root token need to be provided so that user can log in into the vault. Now the question comes like what is the root token and how to get the root token. So you might have seen in our initial video where we have installed the vault. So as soon as you start the vault in our development mode, then you get a root token. So root token is a string of characters which you need to provide to perform a login. So here you can see this is my terminal and here I have started my vault server. So if you scroll down further into the starting log, so you will find a root token over here. So this is the root token which is generally generated during the startup time of our vault server. So you need to keep a note of this uh, root token or you can copy this root token and paste it somewhere onto your notepad so that we can perform the root uh, the vault login later. Let's switch over to another terminal and perform a vault login using the root token. So the command for login is vault login and simply you need to hit enter. And here it will prompt you to enter the token. So I have already copied this token value from here. I can recopy it again and go to your terminal and paste it over here. This root token will not be visible over here. That's why it is showing you blank, but I have pasted the root token over here and simply hit enter. So here you can see uh, the success message and you are now authenticated. So now we are able to log in into our vault using the root token. Now next question comes like uh, if you forget to make a note of a root token during the uh, server startup. So is it possible to regenerate the root token? So the answer is yes. You can use the command line utility and you can regenerate the root token once again. So I'm again going to write a command to generate the token and the command is vault token create and it will simply generate a new token for you. So here you can see uh, this is the new token value which has been generated over here and here uh, you should make a note of it uh, the token policies it should be root if you are working with the root token otherwise you might face some difficulties. So here you need to keep a note if you are uh, only looking for a root token then you should make sure that the token policies is assigned to root as well as the policies is also assigned to root. Now again make a copy of this value and run the command vault login and paste the value over here and here you can see you are now authenticated. So by this way you can generate the multiple root token if needed and then you can perform the authentication using that particular root token. Alright so now we know like how to generate the root token and how to perform the authentication or a vault login using that root token. Now uh, consider a scenario you have generated a multiple root token and now you want to remove some of the root token which you have generated previously. So is there a way so that you can delete or revoke that particular root token? So the answer is yes using again the vault command line utility you can revoke and remove that particular root token. So here's the command uh, for revoking the root token. So vault token and the keyword revoke you need to use it and after that you need to supply the value. So here I'm again copying the same token which I have generated recently. So I'm just going to copy it and I'm just going to paste it over here. So you can see that uh, uh, it has been revoked. Uh, all right, let's verify by again performing a vault login using this revoked token or the token which we have removed. So it should fail. So I'm just going to uh, again go to terminal and I'm just going to perform the vault login. Hit enter and I'm just going to copy the value over here the uh, token which I have removed or revoked. So I'm just going to copy it and I'm just going to paste it over here. And here you can see error authentication and uh, error making API request. So which means that token has expired or either token doesn't exist and you cannot perform the login inside uh, of your wall. Uh, moving further, uh, now we have seen like how to create our token over here and also we have seen like how to perform a vault login using the token. Now the next concept we are talking about is the GitHub authentication. Before we talk about the GitHub authentication, let's take a very simple example of a sign up. Here onto the screen you have seen like I have opened the point trust. 
So this is also a social media platform. And if you click on the sign up option over here, then you will find a couple of options over here. Like you can uh, sign up with your Facebook account also, or you can use your Google account also. So what concept I'm trying to explain over here is using the third party services, you can authenticate yourself so that you can sign up to the Pine Trust. And the authentication authorities I'm talking about in this example is the Facebook and the Google. So using if you have those accounts, then you can just sign up using those authentication method. So similarly, if you have a GitHub account, then you can use that GitHub account to generate the access token and using that access token, you can authenticate or you can log in inside your HashiCorp vault. So here you can see onto the screen. So here I have created a GitHub account and here we will be generating the access token for that particular GitHub account. I'll, I'll go through each uh, of these thing in more detail, but I'm just trying to explain the flow over here. And here we are having the vault. So using this access token, we are going to authenticate in this flow and then we are going to access this vault to insert or update or to view our credentials, which we are trying to store inside the vault. But this whole setup is a bit different from a no normal sign up which we have seen on a Pine Trust. That was just an example I wanted to take. But here are a couple of points which you need to keep in mind while using the GitHub as your authentication method. So here I have made a couple of points over here. So on your GitHub account, you must have a GitHub account with you uh, so that you can use this GitHub authentication feature of a vault. Also, you need two things. You need to have a organization created inside your GitHub account. And also you need to create a team within that organization. So we will be creating these two things uh, using our GitHub access account. And you will be doing everything from the UI because uh, you know, whenever you sign up for a GitHub, then you have a really nice UI where you can see your repository, your account setting, and also you can view your organization and the team within that organization. So all the setup we will be doing using this UI on a GitHub site. But talking about the vault side, so here again, we need to create an organization and also we need to create the same team. So here we will be keeping the same organization name and we will be keeping the same team name. But here we will be using the command line utility. So we will be using the command line utility provided by a vault to create the organization as well as create the Team. So here you can see this is my GitHub account. And if you go to the top right corner on your user icon, then go to settings. And here on the left hand side, if you go over to access and here you will find an option to organization. So click on it. And here, if you haven't created any organization before, then you will see this page over here. And here you need to click on new organization. And here it will ask for pick a plan. So since uh, we are just doing it for learning purpose, so I'm just going to use the free account and click on this create free organization. Here you need to mention the name of uh, your organization. So I'm just going to put uh, jhook uh, uh, test org one. So it's unavailable. So I'm just going to keep two and I'm just going to use my email. Okay, and then I'm just going to accept the terms and condition and click on next. And you can just uh, search by username. Uh, you can just skip this step. We can do it later. And here you can specify some few things about this organization, like what kind of activities or what kind of a time you will be spending. So it is it is optional, but it's still if you feel like you can just fill in. So I'm just gonna uh, put uh, writing code, uh, team one to five projects, open source project, educational project. And uh, what I'm gonna do, manage code, I'm just gonna set up CI CD pipeline. Do you have an existing repository for your project? Ah, just say yes. And uh, mention where is it? So it is GitHub and then simply submit. It is not mandatory, but you can fill in as per your choice. So as you can see over here, we have created an organization with the name jhook test org 2. So as I mentioned over here, so here we are again using the UI over here and we are creating the organization. So we have finished this point number one. The next thing which we need to create is we need to create our team within that organization. On the same page where we have created the organization, which you can see over here, uh, you will find an options for team. So just click on it. And here, this is the team page where you can create the team. So here you will find a green button for like a new team. So click on it. 
and here you can mention the team so for example i'm just going to keep the name of the team as my team and simply click on create and that's been done so here you can see uh, this is the uh, jehook organization which i have created and uh, inside that organization i have created the team with the name of my team so now we are done from the github side uh, now we will move to the vault side and we will again perform the same activity using the command line interface so first we will create organization and then we will create the same team over there all right so this is the terminal and i have uh, my vault server up and running so i am logged in into the same server uh, so one thing we need to check it here, uh, we need to check whether our authentication method for GitHub is enabled or not. So you can do that using the command vault auth list. So it will list out all the authentication methods. So here you can see the authentication method is only enabled for token. So if you remember initially we have authenticated or we have logged in into our uh, vault using the token, uh, the root token. So that's why uh, because uh, the token uh, authentication method is enabled but here you will not find anything about github so we need to enable the github authentication method for our vault so the command for enabling the authentication for a github is pretty simple so you need to write vault auth enable github and simply hit enter so now you can see it has enabled the github auth method and again you can run the same previous command vault auth list and here you will find two options now token as well as the github so this is the one more primary step you need to do before setting up your organization and uh, team all right so now we have enabled the authentication method for github i'm just going to clear the screen so i'm now going to create the organization so here is the command for creating the organization vault write and we are just going to write this configuration under the path auth github because we have enabled the github authentication and the name of the organization that is jhook test org 2 and remember this uh, organization name has to be the same which we have created onto our github account so simply hit enter and here you can see uh, our organization has been successfully created now next thing we need to create team so here is the command for creating the team i'm just going to explain the command so here vault write because we are just writing this configuration and here the path should be auth github map teams my team and this is the name of my team so if you have a different name of your team then you, you can just replace uh, the name of your team in this command over here and then you need to define the values that is default and application so this team will have or whatever if there is any person inside this team then he will have the access to the default as well as the application level so these are the accesses which i am putting it on to this particular team so i'm just gonna hit enter and here you can see the data has been written that means we have created this configuration for our my team all right so now we have set up the organization and the team within our vault so the next thing which we need to do we need to perform a login into our vault using the authentication method as a github so the command which we are going to use is vault login and then we need to define the method which is github so simply hit enter and here you will see it is asking for a github personal access token so now we need to provide an access token and this access token need to be generated from our github ui or the github account so the next thing which we need to do we need to generate the access token and paste it over here all right so this is my github account so if you go to the top right corner go to settings and then go to uh, developer settings over here and then you will find the option for a personal access token on the left hand side so click on it and here uh, you can create click on generate new token and here you need to authenticate if you are doing it after a long time or the first time then uh, here you need to enter the name of the token so i will say demo token for uh, uh, vault i can say all right and i can it is just for demo purpose so i will just keep it for a seven days and the one thing which you need to mention uh, make a note over here it's like you need to provide a read org permission over here or either you can assign the admin org permission also so that it can have access to read the permissions related to the organization which we have created all right then you can click click on generate token and here this is the value which we have got after uh, generating the token you need to copy it from here 
I'm just going to click copy and then go back to our terminal. So I'm just going to move over here and I'm just going to paste the value over here. And here you can see we have successfully authenticated using the GitHub personal access token, which we have just generated. And you can verify the details over here. So here you will find the token uh, meta org, uh, the meta data uh, or the meta information about the organization. So the organization is jhook test org 2 and the token meta username so rahul Wag, that is my username for my github account and this is the access token which we are having over here so this was a like a small demo like how you can uh, set up your token authentication based on uh, the root token as well as your github access token so these are the two ways you can just uh, perform the authentication onto your vault but apart from the GitHub, there are other authentication methods available for uh, Vault like from AWS, from Google Cloud and even you can do it with the Azure also. You can refer to the uh, documentation from a uh, HashiCorp Vault and you can uh, have uh, multiple providers to perform this kind of authentication. Alright, so now uh, we are done with the authentication part of it and if you want to remove this authentication uh, from your Vault server for GitHub, then how to do that? So for that what there is one command that called as revoke and this is I'm just going to clear the screen over here first and yeah so here's the command vault token revoke mode path auth github so this is the way you can remove the authentication uh, method which is like a github so simply hit enter and here you can see uh, it has been removed and if you remember uh, previously we have used the enable command to enable the authentication from a github so we need to disable that one also so here we are going to disable the github authentication method also and now you can verify uh, the auth list once again and uh, it should have token there only so here you can see now it's only the token so this is how the authentication works. So whenever you want to work with any other uh, service provider and you want to provide the authentication, then you need to enable it. You need to uh, follow the instructions provided by that provider if you are going with the AWS or if you are going with the Google Cloud or if you are going with the Azure. So read those instructions, enable the authentication method and then perform your authentication based on their instructions. So here I have just shown it for a GitHub but you can use the similar concept for other service provider also. In the next session of a Vault series we are going to talk about the policies.